So you might be trying to figure out how to install Valorant on your PC. Now, most PCs are acceptable within Valorant, so I'll show you how to set it up. It's a very, very basic process. So what you want to start out by doing is you can just Google Valorant, or you can make your way over to the playvalorant.com website. And when you do that, it'll take you into Valorant's own website right here. And I'll leave this link down in the description too. So all you have to do is you want to click on this play for free button that comes up right here. Now, if you already have a Riot account, I'd recommend just, you know, signing in. If you don't, you can just click on make one. In this case, I already have an account, so I will just go and sign in. You can also sign in with your Google account as well, or your Apple ID, or your Xbox. There's so many other ways of logging in if you really want to do that way. In this case, I'll actually just log in via Facebook. So once you basically sign in, it's going to prompt you into this page. And what you can do is you can link an existing account, or you can just create an account. In this case, I'll go ahead and create an account. And then at that point, you'll come into this next page. And all you want to do here is click on download the game. So now you're going to want to download it. It's going to take a little bit of time depending on your Wi-Fi connection. So it can take a lot of time. It can take a little bit of time. But sooner than later, you'll basically get this little install file in the top right that's going to start installing and downloading Valorant. So then all you want to do is give it a few seconds. And once the .exe file is downloaded, and again, this is only available on Windows, what you can do is you can go and double click on this .exe file. It's going to prompt you into here. You want to go and click on yes. If it prompts you here, you just want to give it access to basically anything that it needs. And the sooner the later, you're going to get into this install button. Now you can see right here that Valorant takes about 43.7 gigabytes for it to fully install. So it is a very, very big size file. Now you can see it does, you know, it takes about a minute, it estimates. So all you're going to have to do here is going is to go ahead and allow it to fully install. Like I said, this is a very big game. It does take some time for it to, you know, officially go through and install. So once it's installed or once it's downloaded, the installation process is very, very basic after that. And once this is downloaded and installed, well, and once it's downloaded, I'll show you. And you might come into this next box, which will say, you know, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Once again, you want to click yes, and then you want to click on the install button. So now the installation is going to take some time. So once again, just let it install. It's going to take a little bit of time and sooner than later, you might get a little thing that may pop up that may say something like, you know, like your Windows firewall, whatever. You want to just allow access for it because, you know, it may just, you know, you're just going to have to allow access to it. There's no other way to put it. Now, when you get into this prompt, you want to go and click on install. You may have to log in. So it's going to say, show you exactly where you can install this file at. You can change these things at all. I would recommend keeping them exactly the same. But in this case, you may want to go and install. It's up to you. So now what you want to do is you want to click on install and you want to click on yes. And then it's going to start installing. So it's going to take a little bit of time, like I said before, but that is basically that. It's downloading, it's going to start installing, and then sooner than later, you're going to be able to fully play Valorant on your device. So you can go ahead and start logging in here if you want to and actually start using it. But at the core, that's basically how it's done. You've now fully, once this is done downloading and installing, you've now fully installed Valorant on your particular PC, and that's basically the process. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so long.